We're back on the Morning Brew with friends. This is great. I got my buddy Derry Opadal with us this morning. He's the city of Albuquerque's director of the Economic Development Department, which means he's got his finger on the pulse of everything money related in Albuquerque and economy. And the economy. And in the economy on the front, it was big news last week. Uh, the State Investment Council decided that it was going to put, I think it's $20 million in a fund. That's right. Uh, to match investments in local companies. In local companies, that's right. This is huge. It and is this, huge. And it's not just tech companies, it's companies of every kind, right, who are looking for investment. That's right. How does one do this? It's a fund of funds, which is a little bit different from a regular investment, like venture capital firm. That's right. How does this work? So, uh, first of all, the, the overall context, 100,000 yeah. foot level, right? The mayor wants this to be the most entrepreneurial city in the country. Right. We've been, we got the Steen, Teen Startup Weekend folks on there talking about some of that too. Today. And that's exactly the point, right? And right. so of those, uh, there's five strategies, business development, workforce and talent development, which Teen Startup Weekend is right, right in the mix of, uh, community development, a culture of entrepreneurship development, and capital development. So on the capital development side, that's one of the big missing parts we have as, as venture capital firms move downstream. Mm -hmm. uh, we to replace banks, which have right. been regulated out of that business. Right, because banks used to be able to make very easily small business That's loans. Right. That's and right. And now companies have to basically go get investment from either angels or VC firms, venture capital right. firms. In the form of debt, which is from right. the loan fund or Axion, right. or in the form of equity from like, one of these fund of funds. Right. So what happens is, and we, what we were missing was that half a million to two and a half million. Right, uh, it was easy to get twenty thousand dollars right. and it's easy to get ironically it was easy to get ten million if you've got customers you've got and customers. repeat customers right but you couldn't get that nice little middle ground growth money no and what and if you have a missing part of the capital stack the whole it, it suffers the whole capital stack. right well if you have a pyramid with a missing piece in the middle it doesn't work right it doesn't work so if, you, if you've got repeat customers like Lavu, mm -hmm. like risk sense right like Scorpios you oh, can absolutely. get you know millions tens of millions of dollars but where we're missing was in that half million to two and a half million and, and now that we now we've got that and what happened is the SIC with Treasury money as mm -hmm. a first in five million mm -hmm. ten million from the SIC and five million from private donors created a twenty million dollar fund that's huge it's a fund of funds it's 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 unprecedented in New Mexico this will be a, right. a game changer for small companies so small companies in in Roswell or in Santa Fe and, and in our burgeoning ecosystem and the reason this all works is because we have so many investable companies now right we Finally. have six accelerators we have all kinds of entrepreneur activity with one million cups and people mm -hmm. coming to entrepreneur office hours they have taken their ideas and they've really made them into investable companies if we don't want those investable companies to leave Right, like Bill Gates did with Microsoft. Right, Remember we got to give them some money to stick around. Got to give them some money to stick around. I often go show people that plaque at Central in California that says Microsoft started here, 1975 right. to 1979, because we don't want to lose those folks. We want right. to make Albuquerque quirky, sticky, and linky. And that sticky part says, let's keep folks here when they have great ideas. The only way to do that is to have a availability of capital. Right. So the way this works is, if I'm in, if I'm Arrowhead Center, if I'm Santa Fe SFID, ABQID, I will go and say, I've got some investable companies. I want, I've got about four to ten investable companies. I would like to get uh, half a million dollars from this fund, and I'm going to match it with community support of a half a million, and then we're going to deploy that to companies. Do you have to match it first and then go, or can you get the money first and then pledge the matching you, you later? You have to commit the money to get from the somewhere. Money. Okay, That's right. very cool. That's right. But that takes basically half the burden off any uh, any entrepreneur. That's right. They, rather than having to raise a million dollars, right? They. It kind of doubles anybody's five hundred thousand dollars right. investment. That's right. What it really works and out. And it's huge leverage. And, and this yeah. is in the the role of government should be convening, convincing, catalyst. And catalyst. Uh, this is a great way to catalyze the economy because mm -hmm. you're you're hugely leveraging the money into uh, companies. And the big deal is the SIC is not involved. They're not trying to make. They're they're not choosing. You know who gets the money, and so that gets them out of the. Uh, right. what, what and it lowers happen. their risk too, because That's if you right. if they are, they're able to go in when using state money and say, well, we're matched by people who already have skin in the game. That's right. It lowers their risk. Right. And how is this different from how the SIC used to work? Because I know you know there's companies like Eclipse that had some money. There was the shot solar money. Some of these other stuff that that came from the state. How is this different from those plans? So those are LIDA dollars. LIDA dollars, remember, are local economic development act act dollars. Right. Those dollars are for infrastructure, mm -hmm. and they have specific things. Remember, shot. 
uh, with no fault of their own, had to leave New Mexico. We right. got that money back, and we got that building back, and the infrastructure stayed. And that also, and that money that was kind of the clawback money paid for some of the funds you guys use now. The EDAC funding, right. which uh, which the city council just chose to put another million dollars in, which is beautiful because we have a great council that then deploys that money. But remember, that is for infrastructure and for uh, things that help our companies hire employees right. for work that is uh, that is exported. Right. Uh, goods and services that are exported. And so right. that, that money is a separate pot of money. The state has $50 million in LIDA funds. The city council voted uh, $10 million for Albuquerque specific companies in LIDA funds. Right. But this is totally different. This is an equity position in the company uh, to give the company operating money. Right. And I think a lot of people get confused on those two kinds of sure. funds because you, know, you think about, you know, the, the state took a big hit when, say, when Eclipse went bankrupt, you know, and the state it had invested, was it $18 million, I think, overall in mm -hmm. that. And people are like, well, why is the state continually investing money in these things? Right. But there is a need for this because you have to invest in 20 companies to have f five or six make it, right? That's true. But the, the big, also the big deal is Sun Mountain Capital has proven themselves to be a very trusted advisor in this. Right. So they will manage And they don't the just advise the state. They advise the companies too, right? They do. Yeah. And, they, and they, they're not just in New Mexico. But they, they advise the State Investment Council on, on what investments are to make. And they've become a very good partner in, make, in really doing due diligence on these companies. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that makes it really trustworthy Excellent. program. So what are you, economic development guy, looking at as the legislature starts? Are you heading up there to lobby to put your name on any bills? We'll make sure that things happen that help businesses in New Mexico and help people uh, create jobs. And that's the big deal. Create jobs, create jobs, create jobs. Right. And, and, that, and that's huge. But I tell you, um, what's, really, what's really satisfying right now is, is that the legislature is seeing all the activity in New Mexico. You know, the quirky, sticky, linky. Right. Look at the linky part. We've just had fail night. And we that just was so had, cool. Yeah, that was great. It was. It was. And that where entrepreneurs all got together at Tractor Brewing. Yep. And talked about how to fail better. Uh, you know, faster and how to fail stronger and learn what. And you can. learn, right? So fail stands for first attempt in learning. Ah. And that's the key. I never realized it was an acronym. It, well, it, it is an acronym. <laughs> and if a if a child you know starts walking and falls down the first time and says, "Oh, how with that." Well, right. then, you know, they never learned to walk. Right. So failure is an absolute necessity part of success. But we had over 150 people uh, there looking at that. Oh, there was more than that. Uh, there, well, was, there was 500 people there. There we, was a lot of people. We were crowded in. It was a great night. But then we had uh, my ABQ had their quarterly function right. at the Grove uh, last week. And right. it was just as many people there. And Absolutely. it was just fantastic to see our millennials activated and saying, we want this city to be a place where we want to be. Let us help. All right. Well, we're going to be back in a couple of seconds on Morning Brew. I think we got Andreas coming up from the Gladiators. Great. Are you going to go try out with me? Yes. Okay. We'll be back in a couple of seconds.